Well, hey, how you doing? Why is this hard? Why can't people drive? I don't understand. It's not difficult. What's going on? It's been a few days. I've been busy and tired, and I have not talked to you guys at all. I wore a dress to work today. I will put in the full the full pic. But I thought I looked cute today. I was told by someone over the phone that just by my voice. He knew that I was gorgeous and beautiful and sexy. I'm like, well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, I have a question. So for the ones that are on Metformin and Manjaro, how do you know which one your side effects are from? I believe mine is, oh, today's shot day. Um, I believe mine are, are from the Manjaro, but it, 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 it could be from the Metformin. I, and Dave has actually asked, he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yep, yep, just breathing through it. I get these bouts of nausea that would knock a horse over. It feels like, you know, right before you get sick the feeling you get like in your eyes and like your nasal passages and like you just like you know it's coming that is my situation so I was like I was sitting there and I was like doing stuff and and you know luckily I wasn't on the phone but I was like all of a sudden I was just like oh my god and I was like mm -hmm. like I really thought I was gonna hurl and the same thing happened the other day and it's really annoying and I wish I knew what one it was from. I think the next time I talk to my actual doctor, I'm going to see if there is something that he can give me for the nausea because it's getting ridiculous. I love it because it prevents me from eating. But in the same breath, what the <laughs> like I would just like to have one day where I'm not nauseated at some point. And the, my poor sister. Oh, I got to call my mom. The, my poor sister. Um, they have her... I. I don't remember the name of the medicine, but it's like the pill form of the shot. And she's on three milligrams and that's the lowest dose, I think. And she's so sick. She's like, I had like three grapes and I thought I was going to vomit. I'm like, yes, it's wonderful. But they have her on that, I think for diabetes and for weight loss. But if she can't handle it, they're going to have to take her off of it. Cause that's, that's ridiculous. Like it actually got so bad yesterday. Like she had a whole situation at the veterinary's office. Which, in turn, is why I have to call my mom. Poor Lily had to be put down yesterday. So, my mom lost her cat. Um, she was old. My mom got her two months after our other cat, Lucy, died. She died the day I moved out. So, as Dave and I were moving the stuff out of my bedroom, which, face it, wasn't much... I like she laid at the bottom of the step and made us step over her and then like that night my mom called and she was like I had to take Lucy to the doctor she died I was like what D well if that's not an omen I'm like what she waited until they moved out and she was like all right the little bird has flown the coop I can kick it I don't know I feel bad Lily was a cool cat she was she was sweetheart but she was like she was laying down to pee and she wasn't eating and you know, she was, she was 17. My mom had her for the last 15 years. So she was the, the source of the viral TikTok that I had of the, of the cat meowing, but I had to call my mom, see how she's doing. But yeah, um, I finally moved my scale upstairs. So one, it's out of Dave's way. Cause if he kicked it one more time, I was going to kick him. Uh, and I moved it upstairs that way I'm not tempted to weigh myself every day because I'm not in that bathroom every day so that's good um, last I weighed myself I was at 265.2 even which was exactly 27 pounds down so yay for that very excited um, I have been taking I, I didn't take measurements and I really I should have oh, excuse me should have taken Leanna's advice and taken and taken measurements because I I know my body is really changing. Like I put on a romper that I bought for my honeymoon that I wound up not taking because it was just not it wasn't good. Um, and then I tried it on yesterday and I was like, holy crap! Like there's a twenty 
ish pound difference. Maybe not even. I was probably 178 when I like 178, 179. I was under or one. Jesus, I don't remember the last time I was 178 or 179. Um, but. I'll get there. Excuse me. Um, oh my god. It just completely like went away from my brain area for my, my thoughts. I don't know. I was 267 and like, I think right around the wedding I was like 278, 79. So it, it was in that ballpark inches that's what we were talking about um i i am definitely seeing a, a difference in the way that i am built so i am losing gut weight which is phenomenal i still have a belly but i have lost my fat roll under my boobies um which is amazing and like i i have a shirt that i bought is it a shirt that I bought? Yes, because I bought two shirts from Target the other day, which are so out of my comfort zone, you don't even know. It is literally like a baby, not a baby doll t-shirt, but that being a baby doll t-shirt, it's short. And I am a child of the 90s and a child that comes from plus size people. Um, I always wore a shirt that like covered halfway down my butt. So this is a very out of my own comfort zone type picture. But I took a picture of myself from the front and from the side, and I, I looked at the one from the side, and I'll put it in here. I look totally different than I did like, six months ago. Totally different. Like, all my weight is in, like, it's, it's lower now and not as big, which I think is, is a good thing. But it also leads me to believe that I could have possibly been pre-diabetic way longer than I thought I was and with the changeover to being diabetic but that was like the, I guess the jump that I needed but it, it's I guess I had that insulin resistance which created belly weight on top of my genetic buildup making me gain weight in my belly do you know what I mean so it was it was a double-edged sword but now that I am a little bit more in control of my sugar, like I, I took my glucose the other morning, like right when I woke up and it was at 88. I do not know, including when I did keto, when my sugar was at 88 at first thing in the morning. Now, yesterday morning, I did it again, it was 125. But that is because I had a, a, a I had sugar the night before. So it, it spiked it. But I was pretty happy with 88. Like that wasn't bad. I'm used to like, you know, 119, 120, 130, that general area, even for like a fasting blood sugar. So to see that the other morning was a, was a pleasant surprise, if you will. Today is shot day. So I'm going to have Dave shoot me up. Um, and I am desperately trying to win this game on Timu. <laughs> like I just need like two more people to sign up before like what I'm gonna say before 6 p.m. Central so in like three and a half hours now well, what time is it it's 3 21 that was like two hours ago I don't know by like 7 Central I think I need to have these people sign up so if that if that happens and I will there's something rattling probably pine needles um, but if that happens and I will get a $30 Timu credit and I will do a haul because I also already have a $40 Timu credit. So that's a lot of sh that I can buy and I do want to buy a blazer because I want to. But on that note, I am going to go because I still need to call my mother. I need to text my husband back and I need to go home. So yay for bodies changing and weights changing for looking cute on a Wednesday. I will see you guys tomorrow. I have to work, but it's only until 1130 and then I have lunch plans with my friend Crystal. So awesome sauce for that. I will talk to you later. Click the Timu link down below just in case. So I'm still going for that offer. Okay. All right.
And when I say tonight, I mean like Wednesday night. So it's a very distinct possibility that I could just go home and upload this video and you guys have the chance to click on it. So there's that. Help a sister out. I need you people to like download the app. So, All right, guys, I am going to go call my mother, talk to her about it.